The U.S. officially presented the first stealth bomber B-21 Raider. for the decades to come. The most anticipated event of the year for the American aviation industry has finally taken place. U.S. The Air Force and Northrop Grumman jointly presented the first bomber of the sixth generation B-21 Raider. The event is considered historic as it is the first time the U.S. Air Force has introduced a new bomber since the debut of a B-2 Spirit in November 1988. Plus, the B-21 Raider is the first sixth-generation aircraft to follow to be mass-produced and will be the backbone of the U.S. Air Force. American company Northrop Grumman has finally pulled back the curtain on the first B-21 Raider aircraft, revealing to the world the newest U.S. stealth bomber Air Force during the presentation ceremony. The event took place at the Northrop Grumman plant in Palmdale, California, where the first B-21 Raider bombers are in production. Lloyd Austin wanted to specify that the B-21 Raider is a stealth bomber that is difficult to detect. Even the most sophisticated air defense systems will struggle to detect a B-21 in the sky, Austin said. It's incredibly unnoticeable. You'll hear it, but you really won't see it, Warden said. It is the first time the U.S. Air Force has unveiled a new bomber since the B-2 Spirit debuted in November 1988 at Air Force Plant 42 in Palmdale, California. The first flight of the B-2 took place in July 1989. The B-21 is a long-range bomber with advanced stealth features that will be designed to destroy important targets at long range. It will gradually replace the B-1 and B-2 bombers, becoming the backbone of the U.S. bomber fleet. Air Force. However, for now, it will not be a successor to the B-52 bombers, which, although much older than the B-1 and B-2, will remain in U.S. Air Force service alongside the B-21 for several more decades. The U.S. Air Force has requested $5 billion for the B-21 in fiscal year 2023, including $1.7 billion in procurement funding, although it has not disclosed how many bombers will be bought. According to some information that appeared in the last two years, the U.S. Air Force intends to buy at least 100 B-21 bombers. This is not just another plane, said U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin. It is the embodiment of America's determination to defend the republic we all love. 